Welcome to Whisking with Richard, here with you on a cross-Canada journey. Well, not myself, uh, I'm staying put, but this whiskey has been on a bit of a cross-Canada journey. Uh, Glen Evan, uh, which is in Bottle Nova Scotia, I believe, is, uh, uh, yes, Guysboro, Nova Scotia particularly. Uh, their marketing story, uh, for what it's worth, is all about the fact that this is Western Canadian whiskey that is then uh, aged, barreled, and bottled in Nova Scotia. So, uh, you know, they're selling the romance of the journey. And, you know, I'm a little skeptical about whiskey marking myself. But on the plus side, we've got ourselves a fine whiskey here. So, as we pour out a little bit, uh, we've got this bottle of about 43% alcohol, which for those new to the sport, pretty normal for uh, any kind of fancier whiskey. And uh, what else about it? Uh, they talk about it being Western Canada rye whiskey, but in the classic Canadian way, this is not, oh boy, look, dead soldier. Uh, this is not a hundred percent Canadian rye. I'm pretty sure because they offer separately a 100% rye version of their whiskey. So uh, I'm assuming there is some rye in here, probably some barley, probably some wheat whiskey, all sorts of things. But let's not hold that against them. Uh, I'm just a fan of mixing and blending and that's all, all good in Canadian whiskey. So what do I really like about this one? So it's double barrel. So let's let's check out here. As far as I know, they have uh, not talked about specifically what two kinds of barrels in here, but I can guarantee you there's some sherry in here. Firstly, dark color, quite red. Uh, second of all, eh, still a fairly uh, dainty whiskey flows fair bit. I've got some legs on the glass here. All that means is it's got a little bit of a more syrupy texture, but not by much. I got a whiff of like Coca-Cola coming into this thing. Um, backed up by... No, it's coming off really strong, like, uh, not really strong, nicely like Coca-Cola. Mm, I've got a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of grape. Mm. Uh, and just uh, some woodsy vanilla, just a really enticing uh, wood scents on here. Even just a touch of, of, of must, like it's got a little bit of that historic smell to it. Historic smell. I mean, if you go to a museum and you probably uh, picture going to like a railway museum and they've got that like some old railway ties in there <laughs> this is oddly specific but i just happen to be a rail museum fan because i'm a huge nerd um it's just reminiscent of that that old timey vibe if you've ever been to winnipeg the forks market if you go into the johnston terminal it's this uh great old uh brick it's not even a warehouse it used to be a railway shop uh big wood post beams it's got it's just got that kind of old wood smell to it, which I'm enjoying. Okay, um, then next we're gonna tip into this thing. Mm. Well, two or three waves of flavor here. So there, there's some, there's some, oh, even, oh, it's hanging around a little bit, huh? It's still saying hello, it doesn't wanna leave the party. Mm. So um, try and break it down a little bit for you first. Okay, we've got a little bit of chocolate syrup. Yeah, a little bit of uh, a little bit of ginger. Mm. I got a, a, a touch of um, touch of even chili on here 
is just interesting to me. Mm. But it's underlined with a, uh, a pretty nice sweetness. Again, um, it's hitting me with that sherry. What it, What's neat here is when you combine some sherry sweetness with some rye spice. I've talked about it before. If you like barbecue, that sweet and spicy combo, I'm a big fan of it. And this has it going on. Yeah, and see, then as it as it rolls through, I'm getting more of that um, almost medicinal, like that that, uh, that that old railway museum vibe that we're all seeking. Uh, it, it's coming across there as uh, as a little bit of um, a little bit of mustiness, uh, maybe a bit more um, a bit more meaty. You could even say still kind of dry it's got uh it's got a little bit of a wood smoke like a light wood smoke quality to it mm. there's even a little bit uh you know one again marketing stories they talk about all aging by the ocean maybe it's just getting into my head but i get a little bit of salt a little bit of seaweed or even a little bit of like fish sauce off even off the nose then as i'm pulling it in Yeah, and that, that touch of funkiness is still there. Um, and then as it finishes up, it's got a little bit of burn, a little bit of spice on the back, but then the like remnant of the flavors just kind of hangs around. You get another kickback of that, um, of that plum sort of sweetness. Um, so there's a ton going on in here, and actually it all works fairly well together. I like the uh the sweet and inviting notes with a little bit of funkiness uh with a bed of that spice that rye spice underneath um you know i i think the only thing missing from this is you can tell it's a bit younger um you know a little bit of that spice is rye but a little bit of it's just it being a younger kind of spirit no age statement on this i, I can't call their bluff um but you know there's more than enough flavors here and and Folks who've watched this show for a while know that I'm a I'm a fan of the big flavor whiskeys more so than some of the delicate ones. Not quite as far as smoky, but those sherry bombs are my alley. This is like a sherry bomb with a little bit of uh, you know Canadian kind of cross national flavor to it that uh, just makes it uh, a little bit more intriguing. And what was really nice was the price point here. Uh, I do recall this bottle being in or under that $60 kind of range. Um, might even picked it up on sale for like 40. I know I'm a bit foggy on it, as you can tell from finishing the bottle on this review. Uh, had it for a little while, um, but a heck of a good value here. If it, it, it's entertaining enough and you're not gonna pay a ton of cash for it, if you can pick up a bottle, I haven't tried their other two. They have a triple wood one. They have a 100% rye one. So uh, Glen Evan, going to go down that road a little further because I, I taste some great value here. Hopefully you'll enjoy some too. Uh, we'll see you around.